the MacBook Air M1 is definitely going to be a game changer. It pushes the limits of performance and battery, making it one of the most exciting offerings from Apple in years. It's not perfect, but it comes really close. But starting at about $1,000, is it perfect for you? In this video, we're going to go over key features, seeing who this product would be good for, how it compares to the competition, and whether it's actually worth your hard-earned money. So stay tuned. Okay, let's get into it. If you're looking to get a new laptop and thought you had to choose between the MacBook Air's portability or the MacBook Pro's performance, well, with Apple's new M1 chip, you'll love that you can pretty much have your cake and eat it too. You're going to hear a lot about the new M1 chip. It's really a game changer and just about every performance aspect of the MacBook Air will benefit. Everything from extra power under the hood to extended battery life to even a more vibrant display. The M1 even comes with its own signal processor. You'll enjoy better noise reduction, more dynamic range, and highlights on your webcam for your Zoom calls. Now, the overall look of the MacBook Air hasn't really changed. It's still sleek with a unibody aluminum design, and it retains the classic wedge-shaped look. Apple still falls behind the competition without an IR camera, but you do get a fingerprint sensor. The Touch ID works well, but that said, it's just not as fast or as convenient when compared to unlocking with facial recognition. The 13.3-inch Retina display with True Tone looks stunning. It always has, but with the M1, it's even more vivid. It has a P3 color gamut support, so not only is the screen bright with punchy colors for viewing media, it's also now ideal for creatives. If you are someone who relies on color accuracy for design and edit work, this is a great fit. How could it not be? With the M1, you have the processing power to actually work with those photo and video editing apps. The MacBook Air M1 is no longer limited to just day-to-day -day tasks. Now students, professionals, and artists can use it for more demanding and heavier workflows without sacrificing portability. Tasks you would never dream about doing on previous Air models. You can now just breeze right through. It's that powerful. The low power consumption M1 chip also uses significantly less power. As a result, you're going to get incredible battery life. No more having to choose between performance and battery life. You now get both. We were able to squeeze out a full day of heavier productivity work on a single charge. One notable aspect that the Air lacks is a fan, but guess what? That turns out to be a quality in the plus column too. The M1 is fanless and runs incredibly efficiently, so it never really gets hot. Not only are the thermals just amazing, but it runs pretty much silently. Even with heavier workflows, you really don't see any performance throttling. Now, if you're an iPhone or iPad user, you're going to love syncing with the new Mac OS. You'll be able to run iPhone and iPad apps natively on the MacBook Air. It's pretty cool, but at the moment, not all apps are optimized for Macs. Developers reserve the right to opt out of having their iOS apps brought over to Mac OS. That would apply to things like Snapchat, Amazon Prime Video, and certain Google apps. Ever since the MacBook Air switched over to the Magic Keyboard, you're going to find the typing experience pretty good. The keys are easy to actuate, and even though it's a little shallow, it's still clicky enough for a satisfying response. The keyboard is nicely spaced out. Even if you've got larger hands, it's still comfortable to type on. We love that the Air still gives you a really big trackpad. We had ample room to swipe, even for four finger gestures. Plus, you get force touch, adding even greater functionality than just scrolling. With the audio, we found the MacBook Air sound from its top firing speakers pretty great. You get some decent bass presence and overall good depth with a lot of detail, all without sounding thin or tinny like you would expect from a laptop this slim. The new MacBook Air still only gives you two Thunderbolt 3 inputs with USB-C connectivity, so make sure you have your dongles for all your peripherals. So what's the verdict? Well, if you're looking for an affordable MacBook that no longer sacrifices portability for performance, look no further students, professionals, or creatives you'll be getting pretty much the same performance as the new MacBook Pro for most tasks. This makes the M1 perfect for portable productivity on the go, and it has such powerful performance for work from home use. And perhaps the most incredible thing is, you get all these upgrades and performance for under $1,000. That's the same price as the older model. When it comes to value, you'll be hard pressed to find this level of performance in a laptop this size and at this price. Well, that's all for this video. We hope you guys liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a like.
If you're new to the channel, we review tech in a simple, straightforward manner for the average person. So if you want tech reviews simplified, be sure to subscribe. Check out the description links for the most up-to-date pricing. Till next time, hope you all have a great day.